First API currently has a CLI tool and let's talk about it. So <clears throat> about last week, uh, first API got a uh, first API command and this first API command is to help us be able to manage our app. So similar to the Django admin for a Django application and the Flask command for Flask, we now have a first API utility to help us manage our apps from the command line. I haven't been one to just jump onto the bandwagon and explore what that does. But today I was curious and I decided to find out what it actually does. So I've also seen a tweet by the author of First API saying that First API is going to have support for UVCon workers. So basically what this is going to help us is to specify the number of workers to use when running our app. So for now, let's go ahead and see how that is. This is also documented right here. So for every time we create a first API application, we're going to have a first API command. So when you say first API, now keep in mind that I'm in a virtual environment and my version is version 3.10.12. So I'm using the systems Python, but you can feel free to use the latest version of Python. So in this case, if I say first API, we shall notice that we are going to be missing a command. So this will take in various arguments and various options. Now what I'll do is to provide first API dash dash help and this will go ahead and try to print out the usage of the first API command. So first API CLI is a command line app for first API and it helps us to manage our first API projects, run apps and so on. So you can also go ahead and uh, basically run our apps. So we have commands such as the dev command for helping us run our first API app in development mode. So if you want things like reloading your server, when you make changes, this is the command you're going to run. We also have the first API run command, and this is one that's going to help us to run our app in production mode. So if you want to run the app in production, with debug off so you don't want to see the errors that are thrown or you want to go ahead and run your app without reloading then this is the command you're going to be running so if we try to run our app uh, what is going to happen is the command is always going to look for where the app instance is going to be found so even when you're using routers the first api command is always going to look into the folder that you're working in and then it will basically select the app instance or the main first api instance and that is what it will run on so if we go ahead and say uh, first api so i'm going to put that to the left and then i say first api dev this is going to go ahead and run our first api server and it will go ahead and print this nice uh terminal application right here or print some output or log some output to our terminal, just like you see right here. So for now we're seeing that it's going to use the path main.py as main.py is the only Python module we have in there. Then it will resolve the path to main.py, search for the package file structure for our directories with init.py. So it will look through each folder that we have within our app. So it's going to come to that file that has our app instance, which is main.py, and then it will get the IP instance then basing on that is what it will use uvcon to run our app in this same module that we created our app instance so remember we use a command such as uvcon main app so when you say first api run it's going to go ahead and use that command in the background to run our app and i think it's, it's going to show us the url or path on which our api has been served so in this case we are going to see that our app is going to be found on local state thousand it's going to show us the api docs which are found on the slash docs endpoint or the slash docs route then we can also see the command for helping us run the app in production which is first api run so i'm going to go ahead and stop this and when i stop we can now say first api run and that is going to run our app the way we need to run it in production. So this is going to be something interesting because we shall not have to run our app with very many commands and this is going to be something neat, something that's going to be easy. Those who are using things like uh, Heroku or let's say Render, you'll just have to say first API run and then your application will have to start or give in extra options just like we see in this tweet right here. So I thought that is a very interesting thing to talk about and yeah thanks for watching guys i have a first api course that is coming and 
I guess I'll have to add this particular section. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.